could mean my right to survival, having my right to defend myself taken away. Our county is roughly the size of Rhode Island, and because there are no full-time law enforcement down here in this part of the county, you can't get here quick enough to protect me from thugs who want to hurt me or my family. But I might as well give you my weapons, too, because if they come here, they'll try to say the minute they find a weapon, no matter where, no matter how much dust is on it, no matter what, they're going to say that I was using it in the commission of a crime, and that that's going to be a factor for a longer sentence. I hate to say that because it makes us vulnerable, but I'm being attacked in my own county. What is this all like, preemptory strikes? My brother's a cop, and he told me that there's a bullseye on your back. He was basically telling me to watch out for myself. <laughs> it's like... Oh, no, let's like take your bank report. account. Let's take your permit. Well, I'm the kind of guy that likes to string dots together. And when the dots start looking like they're heading a certain direction, I don't like that. For Booten, turning over his guns is equal to surrender. It's all of the duplicity, all of the hypocrisy, all of the bull in this stupid war on drugs all rolled into one. <laughs> 300 miles south, Matt Shotwell is having problems of his own. I just don't understand why you just don't trust me that I haven't gotten in trouble since I went to jail. Why do you think I'm going to get in trouble? I care. Soraya is threatening to leave. Why don't you don't care? care? How is that not valid? Because you didn't think you were going to get shut down on your dispensary. You're delusional. Pretty much everything is on the line. My freedom, Soraya, and uh, my finances is in there, too. So I've got a lot to fix a lot of things real quick, or I'm going to lose everything I've got. I'm not doing anything illegal, so come on. You said that about your dispensary, Matt, and they still found reason. Okay, okay. you're right. But they I did find reason. Have this conversation because I'm really tired of it. Soraya is just pissed about this trip up north. She just doesn't like the whole pot lifestyle. She wants nothing to do with it. She wants me to be Ned Flanders and stay at home and hokily dokily, and that's not me. So I'm gonna go up north. That's not illegal to go up north and talk to Mike. It's not to take my buddies. It's not illegal. Stop thinking it is. Matt. I just want to leave. Trying to uh, find a legal way I can make some money in this business so I can help build the lifestyle that will make her happier. But she's not believing what I say. She doesn't trust me anymore. Let me, please, move the geo, please. Unbelievable. I hope that he has a plan for himself outside of this industry. That's what he needs to do because I can't continue to live my life being in this place. It's not where I want to be. He was last seen headed down slope. We had a runner, a helicopter doing some recon over top. Rides are already, man. It's got the new new engine put in the Geo, and I got a new clutch in there. I got the seven-inch screen in there, so y'all can watch movies on the way up. Against his girlfriend's wishes, Shotwell gathers his mules for a run up north to pick up some of Mike Booten's marijuana. They plan to profit by delivering Booten's premium weed to dispensaries in Vallejo. Should be good to go. I'll be riding behind you, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, you know we got walkies and stuff for when we get up into the woods. Our cell phones won't be working. Sticks, you're the captain. All right. Curtis, you're the Curtis, you're the navigator. Squeeze, you're the muscle. Hey, let's do it. Let's do this. All right. We're going 101 North, all right? That's where we're going. 101 North to Trinity. All right. <laughs> Comes a vice. Hey, hey. Without warning, an unmarked cop car rolls up. Yo. What's up? I, I got some massive forfeiture paperwork. I thought you guys already did. I'll give well, me that we, paperwork. We gave you some. We took money from the business. Yeah. But each time we take money from yeah, the that bank, TD one is my rental property yeah, in yeah, Virginia. Yeah, I got you, but we took it. I got to have you sign it. Well, I have to sign it or is it the lawyer? You, no, you have to sign I it. I have and to. And I'll give you the form to make so you can make the claim. Well, I was wondering, why'd you take the one that had nothing to do with pot? That's my Virginia rental account Anything for the house. Anything you had associated with, we ended up taking. How are we going to rem remedy this? Well, I got to have your phone number. I'll call you this week. Roger that. Due to his charges, the police have seized all of Shotwell's bank accounts, leaving him desperate for cash. They're taking more of my money. 
And he's like, yeah, we're seizing your bank accounts in Virginia. I just want to let you know. We got some paperwork for you. We need you to sign it. And I was like, dude, this got nothing to do with Greenwell. And he's like, I know, but we're taking it anyway. <laughs> That's what he just told me. The cops still trying to take my money out of my bank accounts. My mortgage is months behind. All my student loans are late. All my credit cards, all my car payments. Pretty much my entire financial picture is crashing down around me. You know, we're about to leave and go up north with the boys. And that didn't happen. Dude, it never stops. Shotwell decides to delay the trip. No, we got to cancel this for today, man. The cops are all over us right now. Look at them just waiting over there. I'm just not happy having my concealed weapons permit taken from me. I am afraid of what it could mean down the road. It's not about defending weed. It's about defending yourself against the people that will go after the weed at any expense. As Booten's wife, Tawny, and farmhand Taylor watch, Booten submits to the sheriff's mandate and packs up his guns. I was angry when I got that letter because I felt betrayed, and I still do. Now I'm put in a position where I'm being asked to give up the right to defend myself. With his bank account shut down and an escalating neighborly feud, the former truck driver and ax man can't afford any more trouble. I don't like doing this, but I think we're just going to have to rely on good old bats and dogs because uh, I'm just getting rid of all of the firearms. I don't want people trying to say that I was using firearms in the commission of a felony. And, and so I'm just removing them from the property. I'm, I'm taking them to a trusted relative's house and leaving them there for however long I have to leave them there. It scares me. There's no protection here from anything. You know, I, I don't have any way to protect me, to protect Taylor, nothing. I'm about freedom, and I'm about, you know, give me liberty or give me death. And to pack up my only real ability to protect myself from bad people, because if bad people are coming here to do us harm, they're not coming with a rock or a two-by-four. They're going to be coming heavy. Now I have nothing unless you want to consider faith and defense against evil. Just a few miles away. Good to go. Shut up. Based on information gathered by Officer Jason Jones and Sergeant Mike Gilly, the Sheriff's Department flies into a remote row, deep in the forest where it is alleged drug runners have been seen coming and going. We saw four guys across the river with a bunch of hoes. No way they were just camping. Sergeant Gilly and his SWAT team have touched down alongside what they believe to be an illegal grow. This is going to be noisy and messy. The suspects could be armed. Be careful. To keep the element of surprise, Gilly's team must now hike three miles from the landing zone into the grow. We'll do a covert approach and try to pick up on the suspects, possible locations of camps. I've been doing this a lot of years and have been involved in the eradication of millions and millions of plants. With my experience over the years, this grow is occupied. And this situation has considerable risk attached to it. My biggest priority is the safety of my guys. You never know what you're going to come up against. The team moves into place. Their objective is to arrest the growers and take down the weed. Somebody running. Go right down the main ridge through the plants on the water. Make it fast. It's 
perimeter, there's somebody running your way. Come on. Looks like it's southeast toward the draw. I got somebody running. As Sergeant Gilly and the SWAT team swarm an illegal grow, a suspect crashes through the woods. Go, go, go. Go right through the air to that flat cover down into that hollow. We're going into that hollow. Okay. We got a one runner headed to the southeast. Did not get a clothing, but just dark clothes and shadow. Tim, you copy?